So I'm here in Cinema and Court speaking with Anna. Many of you have contributed, and this is an update actually to all of you that have given on the crowdfunder page. And Anna, first of all, just a huge, uh, it's been a bit, well, it's, a, it's huge, the amount of people that have given to this you know, crowdfunding page to support you and what you're doing. It's absolutely blown me away, to be honest. You know, I didn't expect uh, anyone to set up a crowdfunder. So, um, yeah, to have this much money raised in such a short amount of time has just been very overwhelming and uh, incredibly heartwarming and um, it's the comments from um, uh, people from all walks of life all over the country even all over the world they're the ones that are giving me the strength to uh, keep on making this stand so um, so yes I just can't believe uh, I can still can't I believe it. I can honest. see. I can see you're completely overwhelmed. And I think you know I, what I wanted to do with, today with you is just to give an update to all those who've given because we've talked. Obviously, a lot of people have made you know ideas of what should be done. But we've talked about what we're going to do with that money. Firstly, I raised it for you and, you and your and your family because you know you needed that support. That was the first reason why we did it, and for the business as well. I mean, you've got some ideas of what you want to do with some of that money as well, don't you? What what, what are those ideas so we can update those that have given? Sure. So um, yes, it's only been quite recently. I've had had the time to think about it because of course I've been uh, firefighting my business uh, up until this point so um, so yes I really want to give back to the local community that have uh, missed out as a result of the uh, unlawful attempted closure of my business so um, so yeah I'd really like to educate and empower other small business owners and others in general really to um, to stand up and uh, realize that uh, yes they can they can do it to not uh, comply with this uh, nonsense Um, and also I'd really like to um, give uh, uh, local minority groups the chance to access their right to culture because of course um, the only culture the government seem interested in is one of fear so um, so yes and also there's uh, we've got a real food shortage in Swansea, there's lots of schools living in poverty. Mm. There are kids that uh, are starving. So um, yes, there's um, a community fund that I'd like to uh, put some of the money into that. But also to uh, give those schools um, a chance to access culture as well. And uh, yeah, come to the cinema and do free uh, free school screenings for them. So um, that's so, just, yes. that's just amazing, Anna. And uh, oh, as long as I can get lifelong membership for free, mine. I mean, that, yeah. you know, I, that, that, that's a joke, by the way, from all my haters. I'm only joking. But I, I think it's because you are concerned about the community, local businesses, and what you've done really is an example of the power of what can be done from smaller businesses that when they say, look, I, I don't want to discriminate certain people in society or segregate because you love everybody. I've seen you, you know, minority groups, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I know you've been criticised. We've had some groups out there, not going to mention their names, give them a platform. But I've met you. I've got to know you. You're such a loving person. And people don't realise, you know, the, the pain. It's been quite painful for you, the journey, this journey, because you've been exposed to all this stuff. BBC Wales, ITV Wales, you know, all these Welsh media guys. And all you wanted to do, really, is open up a cinema for everybody. Isn't that right? Well, exactly. You know, that's been uh, written into our values as well from the time I started this up. You know, we really do uh, provide a service for the for everyone. You know, we want to, for everyone from all walks of life, regardless regardless of their their background or their beliefs or creed color yeah. you know it is open for everyone and yeah. it's uh, it's seeing the human you know we're human beings that's what we should be making this stand as and uh, yeah together yeah. We are stronger. So. Well, well, speaking of together, I want to mention that many of you will know that I'm part of the Together Declaration, which is ho- over 150,000 signatures to date. And the idea of the Together Declaration really is to get people to stand against discrimination. Mm-hmm. It's not a political party, nothing like that. It's just a group of people from business owners to individuals to politicians, actually. Some of them have signed it as well to let them know that we don't agree with the government imposing these you know, these rules, if you like, discriminating against certain groups in society because we believe in the freedom of all. All lives matter, is what I always say to people, Mm. every single human life. And so it's important people get that message. Anna, it's been an absolute pleasure being with you. Now, where's the kettle? I need a cup of coffee or something. (laughs) I need a drink.